I'm trying to get some accelerator. Of course I do. Look at it on both sides here. Yeah. We don't have to whisper. I'm going to hit the button. Nobody's going to see it. Don't let him whisper. Don't let him know. It's not like it's got to be quiet. Don't let him know. <laughs> this is good. Okay, hello everybody again. We're in the shop, and uh, we're actually uh, Jason's going to answer a question that he received on Facebook, I believe, uh, about uh, cross bracing. Yeah, correct? so it was it was a general question in the Balsa Builders Association Facebook group, uh, and it it was a good question. They were asking, you know, how do you cut cross trusses and stuff on on a kit, and um, you know, in gluing, I'm sure in cabinet work as well. It's uh, when you when you have a glue joint having a good surface um, joint is, is, in, is important. You yeah, know, good if fit. it's off a little bit, great fit. You know, the, the tighter the fit, the better the glue joint's gonna be. Yeah. So, and you know, there's, it, it's funny, I'm seeing a lot of people starting to build again, which is awesome. Uh, I see a little bit of a division in the hobby where, you know, people that used to build because we had, had to are a little snobbish and you know, all you people all know, how, all you know how to do is build ARFs. Well, ARFs are kind of the hobby these days, but you know, let's take a little time and help these people learn how. I mean, we learned how to, to build like this because we had to. We yeah. didn't have ARFs when, was, we, when we first got in RC. So. So, a lot of times we didn't have money, so we had to build from scratch. It exactly, was way cheaper. Exactly, exactly. So, so what I what I have here is a real simple trick that I learned years ago when I was building kits, and um, I've mocked up a you know a simple fuse side. Uh, you know, uh, if, if, normally there would be plans, and this would be a little more square. But actually, not being square is a, a good way to show how this actually works. So, what you want to do is take whatever size your bracing and trussing is, balsa. Find a little extra in the kit. If you can't, go to your local hobby shop, support your local hobby shop, and find a little extra. You want to cut two pieces, two shorter pieces, about the same length, um, and you want to cut one longer piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a little CA glue, and we're going to assemble these on our wax paper, just like this. So we'll go ahead and do that real fast. This will be in fast motion on the mm -hmm. video, I'm sure. Well, while he's done it, I'll just yeah. take time to tell you guys that, uh, please, if you like the video, give it a like. That's always important to us. Uh, but it, what's even equally important is that you subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. And, uh, you know, look at the links that we have below. Try to, you know, click on them every once in a while. That also supports the channel a lot. So uh, subscription, we want you guys to hang around with and us. And subscribe, to you could win a drone. Well, there's always that, you know. Don't leave that hopefully, down. Hopefully, you know, we might be at 500 already by the time this hopefully, comes out. Hopefully, you know, yeah, so. that would be awesome. Yes, yeah, so once we get to 500, we're going to give out a, a drone. Uh, but I'm sure that we'll have another uh, program going on after that anyway. So, another giveaway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so you always get a chance to get something from us yeah. for almost, like, free. Other than the fact you got to listen to us every once well, a week. Well, that's, that's payment in and of itself. I, I mean, I don't know. We should be paying them. Yeah. Shh, <laughs> That's don't, don't yeah. give my ideas, right? That's totally That's wrong. That's totally, that totally wrong right there. So, All right, so, you got those so, yeah, so we got our tool. This is it. Right. It's really tricky. There we go. There you go. So it's really tricky. So then what you do is you lay your piece across. Let's say we're doing a, a diagonal brace here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to do our first cut, you'd take your, your tool here. You'd hold your wood in place. Lay it across. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a cross brace, a, a diagonal brace here. We're going to lay this across. We'd, again, if we had plans, we'd be following the plans. So we're going to set this over, and we're going to hold it in place. Butt it up against, and we go ahead and draw our line. Now, one of the comments on the question that that the guy posed was, you know, you cut you cut the, uh, to get it rough, and then you sand to fit, and that is true. Um, one really important thing to have in the shop is a is a nice um, disc sander. Uh, I've got a nice 12 inch disc sander here. We can pop a picture of that up. Yeah. And that's usually I would cut this and then I would uh, sand it. I would fit it now. Or even, even if you have just a hand sander, that yep. uh, would, would work perfect. Exactly. So there. Now we're going to cut our other our other angle again. Put it in place. Hold it down. Mark it. Very easily. There we go. And we've cut. And I'm cutting right on the line, trying to show that this works pretty. Boom. So then we put this in place. Okay. My uh, cuts aren't 100% square. Yeah, hold right. that down. Uh, let it up a little bit, though. There we go, like that. So then this will give you a little better view of what's going on here. We hold this against. So we push down. Get a fly on our nose. Yeah, I know. It's been taking me. And then you just lay that. Now we'll hold it in place. We'll go ahead and cut our other cross here while it's in place. There we go. And that's our cut for the other side. And normally what I'd do is I'd cut about 16th inch outside that line and I'd put it on my disc sander that I have nice and square. And I would sand right till the line disappeared. 
and that would give us exactly what we're looking for. There we go, one cut. Right on the line here. There we go. Right. So then, now that we've made our cuts and sanded and got it all fitted, we'd go ahead and put it in here, see if we got lucky. I don't know that we did. Oh, we got pretty lucky yeah, there. Pretty lucky, yeah. man. Oh, what did that say? Yeah, I know, right? We got a, got a right. nice fit and uh, we're good to go. And then we'd glue that joint in and move to the next one. All so right. uh, I got some some pictures from when I was working on the card and fuse up here and uh, I'll send those over. We can put those in the video and get nice. I mean, you get really nice clean joints with this that, yeah. that'll last quite a while. And the main thing about the joints is that the joints, uh, coming from a woodworker's perspective too, and model builder for a long time, like even before you were one. Um, You're pretty old. I am old. And this, that's why this flies all yeah, over right. me. It's ready. <laughs> it says, well, this dude's <laughs> close. But, um, you know, the more surface that you have to glue, uh, the better, especially when it's ingrained. So on, on this right here, we've almost, you know, one and a half times the surface now that we have to glue up. So we're going to get a much stronger joint and it fits in there correctly so that uh, the wood is basically being used as a brace across there on both sides, which mm -hmm. locks it all in. So, yeah. so it's really cool. That's a cool, you know, as long as I've been built, I've never actually did one of those. And, and, and the, the cool thing is now that I've built this, this is quarter by quarter. I have this for any plan. I put this You're aside in my tool drawer. Yeah. I've got it for three a square, which we do on the cards. Yeah, I'd, I'd make it out of Babinga just so I could say this is my Babinga tool. You know, it's just what I would do. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, folks, so like we said, uh, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, you know, tune into our channel once a week. We're going to have something. And by subscribing, you get a chance to win a drone. And uh, maybe something know, else in the future. We'll something else in the future, but, but we also will give some knowledge out. Uh, we'll try to get to, you know, stuff that you could use in your building and your enjoyment of this hobby. Okay. So other than anything else? I think we're good. Talk to you guys soon. I know, he's pretty good. He's pretty fancy. I don't even know why I'm even here, actually. Know, right? Well, Joe's in Tucson, so we had to have you. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. There we go. So you going to the shootout this year? We'll see. If I can stop crashing airplanes. Well, but I mean, I was thinking we should go there and yes. do like live. We'll go one way or another. How's that sound? Right. Whether I'm flying or not. Well, let's hope you're flying. Let's I'd hope. Rather, I'd rather be flying. Me too. Okay, okay. so we're set? We're set.